Thanks for joining this call. Okay. So uh, we have shared your the PPT, all right? Open the PPT. We will ask you certain questions as a user point of view. You please go through the PPT and start explaining one by one. Over to you, Praveen. Okay. We go to the PPT. Substitution variable. Substitution variable acts as a global placeholder for information that changes regularly. For example, you could set the current month in substitution variable. You can change the month value and you do not need for uh, manually change the uh, month values uh, in forms and uh, report scripts. And coming to the second slide, now we will see how to use the substitute variable following artifacts. Now, how can you use the substitution variable in uh, artifacts where the four types of uh, substitution variable can use uh, data forms, RTP, BR, and uh, smart view. And coming to the last side, creation of substitution variable. Can you show me how to create a substitution variable following the use cases? Okay. I can show the navigation how to create the substitution variable. And uh, here, go to the application. Click on Navigator and Tools under Variables. Here are two types of uh, variables, User Variable and Substitution Variable. And click on the Substitution Variable. Click Plus button. I, can, I added here the all three types of uh, Substitution Variable, Console, Rates and All Cubes. In Substitution Variable is a global placeholder and I take the All Cubes. And here the name, I given the name current month 3 and the value is I you taken June and click and save the cards will be saved successfully this is the use case 1 and coming to the uh, use case 2 in slides consider a user run consolidation yearly user wants to update the variable in every year Consider y, oh, FY20 for this use case. Okay, I will go to the navigation and uh, click on variables. And here the in in my application uh, application creation of uh, creation in this time I taken uh, FY22, FY30 I think in years application taken. Okay, now I will take the year in FY21. So I will the year. current year and I take the F5 21 in save yeah okay and uh, F5 3 given the F5 3 and save the record will be saved successfully and uh, go to the uh, slides and fourth slide coming to fourth slide using the substitution variable in data forms. How to use the substitution variable in data forms? In use case one, uh, use case one, use account dimension in rows, use substitution variable for year and period dimension in column, close, choose the generation to members of every other dimension, preview date for, from the, with use case, form with use case, coming to the navigation under the, Go to the navigator, create and manage under the forms. Here I already created one form. Go to the library, go to the data forms and folders. And here the to today one, I edit the today one form. Click on layout. And here I give the rows uh, in account. I take the uh, in rows account current assets and cash equivalent for the member in generation 2 and here in columns I take the columns in substitution variable and here the year dimension year dimension year is a parent and the FY21 is a child run and here the second second generation and here the uh, I remove the old one and here uh, 
go to the variables in the substitution variable here substitution variable a creation of a substitution variable y3 and i take in the y3 click on ok this can be added and edit the period also the period dimension also and here the period dimension go to the variable and first of all current uh, world one is removed and the substitution variable here the substitution variable month i take in the month it's to be added and click on save then form is save successfully and click on preview yeah fi here the so i give the uh, substitution variable and here the year is uh, fi 21 and uh, uh, period is june this can be here this is the use case one for uh, how to use the substitution variable in a forms and go to the navi go to the ppt and here add code the year end period dimension in other column along with use case one to explain the difference between the hard coded members the substitution variable values okay and then go to the navigation i will choose okay click on navigator go to the forms and click on forms and folders library and click on data forms here the form today one click on edit and go to the layout go to the layout and here the columns i take the another column another column add column is column is added here change the manually i will in this b column edit i change the manual here i took the 23 and remove the substitution variable remove yeah manually enter is created and also period uh, i take the and uh, remove first and take the year to go to the year total under the hy1 uh, here q2 here the june i take the june add click on okay save the form the form is saved under the preview go to the preview here the created manually this is the hard coded one to enter the manually this is substitution variable uh, when uh, creation uh, create the substitution variable and here to change the change and here the it can be changed uh, it can be created this is the substitution variable and hard, hard code substitution variable can be created and manage the admin and go to the ppts and preview the data from change the substitution variable june to july and explain the how the dynamically the substitution variable change the forms and purpose okay go to the navigator go to the navigator click on home page and here go to the navigator click on variables under the tools cluster variables under the variable substitution variable click and here i change the june to july month and uh, here they change the year 23 to oh, 21 20 not for this uh, here uh, i change change to 21 to 22 click on save record will be saved successfully and then go to the home page click on home page and go to the navigator and create and manage under the forms click on forms click on forms under the folders library click on library under the data forms here the today one is there and click on edit go to the layout under the layout preview the preview the form and here here to change the fi 22 and july change in in previous uh, fi in uh, year is 21 and uh, uh, period is june when i change the substitution variable fi 22 and uh, period is june when the uh, when the change the form when the when uh, in substitution variable use when can use this uh, substitution variable in and uh, forms 
totally forms are changed in FY22 and uh, June period. Okay. Coming to the PPT. Here the uh, using substitution variable in uh, RTP in a fifth slide uh, can be passed substitution variable as a value in prompt. Yes, it can be we can we can pass the substitution variable value in a prompt. Okay, it can the prompt value will be limited only the value assigned to the substitution variable and uh, how to select the prompt value default value assigned to the substitution variable. I can show the navigation and click on navigator under the create and manage here the rules card there, there click on rules card yeah I, under the rules card calculation manager is is open and here the system view and click on uh, actions and click on the variable designer and under the epm cloud and I choose the global substitution variable is a global placeholder and I will choose the global and here I will uh, take the new new RT, runtime prompts in runtime prompt actually occurs the uh, uh, occurs it dynamically and uh, and customize it the, the point of view for user can be working it allows the calculation and aggregation of the uh, values and here the RTP, I will create the RTP, RTP underscore month one. I give the name one month one and type is RTP type in type is member and here the dimension type is period, period dimension and I give, I enable the RTP and default value underscore ampersand current month three and I give the uh, limit also same I will give current month three and I will give the text RTP text runtime prompt text please enter please enter the period Please enter the period and I have I will and after I will save the variable 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 save successfully and and I also create the month the new create the year sorry and RTP use the RTP underscore RTP underscore year One, I take the year one name and type is given the uh, type, is, type is member and dimension type is year and uh, I enable the RTP and default value I will give the default value current year three and limit also give current year three okay enter the i enter the text please enter the year click on save variable save successfully here the creation of the runtime prompts and the limited i take the limited of uh, year in month in uh, year and month i take suppose i take the month only a I take the June rest of the dimensions uh, rest of the months are not displayed and uh, when the I when I give the limit limits only and uh, uh, I will uh, go to the PPT okay and uh, coming to the next slide using substitution variable in business rules can you show me how to pass the substitution variable in BR which of the following design is recommended uh, hard code June in the BR and using substitution variable created month and using RTP created for the month with substitution variable. Okay, I will go to the navigation under the rules card. Here the rules card and uh, here the uh, system view. Go to the system view and here the EPM cloud practice application name and go to the console and here uh, go in rules. Here I go with uh, 
rules and I go with the new rule, created a new rule, create a new object and here the application type is EPM Cloud, application is practice and cube is console and the object type is I take the rule when I create the rule. This rule name is, uh, I, ta I take the rule name is custom 4. Rule name is custom 4. Custom 4, take the rule name is custom 4, click on OK and open for editing and click on OK. Is open now, it take a couple of time. Here the custom 1 and custom 4 and custom 1 is this is the rules. Here the FCC uh, underscore the underscore after uh, opening balance uh, in coming to FCC 70. Here the this, these are the default one when an application creation will come and uh, the custom 4 role is open and here the here to write how to and go to the PPT. Hard coding June and which of the following design how to pass the hard code June in the BR and substitution variable creation using RTP creator and here the go to and here I, I give the syntax some syntax is a fix syntax fix brackets here the here I given the month in hard coded month June and enter a in month and fix and after I will create the substitution variable fix brackets ampersand rr m and th current month 3 and click on enter and give the end fix and fix and enter and here the f5 fix here they given the runtime plans here rtp underscore here parenthesis under rtp month when i when i given the rtp name uh, variable here they take the RTP month one. Okay, okay, we'll give the RTP one none in custom for role. Okay, here I give the one and here and here the end the fix and fix. Okay, if I you fix a June and uh, uh, is the is open and editing the forms uh, is take a time and uh, current month is uh, you can give the forms open and create the substitution variables and uh, change the each substitution variable here the RTP month here to I uh, is it the runtime prompts uh, is used to for only given the substitution variable and can here the only one month can be displayed and uh, and it is use very useful I recommended that. Uh, uh, last one uh, fix uh, RTP month I recommended here here the I give the backslash star and end here star here star backslash and and I also given the year also here RTP here RTP here underscore year 1 okay and click on save after then after click on save this custom 4 is saved okay then after the validate the syntax syntax is starting the validation and uh, after the validation of the validation of the syntax in rule and uh, this re custom rule can be deployed uh, in the application here taking the time yeah the the rules variate with uh, no errors thus this variation is successfully 
and go to the actions go to the actions and here to deploy to deploy the rule in a custom custom rule in application this is the business rules how to create the business rules in the in in use of the substitution variable yeah the deployment was successfully okay then okay and here to click on close click on close and go to the navigator first of, after creation of for br and go to the uh, overview uh, refresh the uh, overview action under the actions click on actions under the refresh database in application can be refreshed once is any any one stack any value stack uh, and can be refreshed yeah is, refresh will be started in here the dimension of the account uh, all dimensions in the currency and multi gap uh, in all dimensions those dimensions are also refreshed and the console and rates also refresh and uh, also the uh, some artifacts also refresh is taking the time here the substitution variable can in substitution variable can create and manage is only the admin okay here uh, is refresh is there in is the taken the time uh, time is refreshing for total application can be refreshed here under the executing post cube and re refresh the roles and the business roles under the uh, all uh, dimensions and artifacts also the refreshed here in, in after completion of the refresh and then they will go to the uh, application and go to the navigation under the dashboards clusters and here the under the, the rules card are there under the open the rules card and uh, click the rule uh, custom even and k and when and creation of the custom four and click on custom four and uh, the custom four will be launched and when uh, in the creation of the custom uh, when i give the runtime prompts uh, uh i give the runtime prompts a period in uh, Uh, enter the period in year and enter the period in month okay yeah is refresh is taken post keep refresh in rules is loading is refreshing actually is refresh taking a time in 3 uh, 3 uh, minutes in background click on close click on close okay go to the home page go to the home page okay under the dashboards here the rules card are there the can rules card open the rules card is open now and here the business rules there here the custom 4 is when i creation the rule is custom 4 here and click on launch is custom 4 is will be open is uh, current period uh, is uh, please enter the period in run time prompts is there current month and the current year and here i click the edit the current month and current month here only 
in period is only period in H Y Y two can be displayed only one month. One month he displays the jewel. In rest of the months are that cannot be displayed by the user. It is only it can be managed by the only the system administrator only. And also here, here also, and here also displayed only one year in F Y twenty two. In rest of the all years are not displayed. Okay, this is the business process. And after I will go to I uh, will go to the PPT and next slide here the substitution variable in Smart View. You can show me inside the substitution variable in a report created analysis. And here to uh, period to uh, June to Jan period dimension in FY22 FY21 in year change. And I will show the navigation that the first of all I will go to. First of all, I will go to create a navigation, like manage, and here the forms. I will remove the substitution variable in uh, my in my form, in data forms. Today, one layout, layout here the dimension here the column one. E, delete the column, substitution variable, and click on save. Yeah, form is saved successfully. Then, then after I will go to the Smart View, and here the Smart View, I will go to the form in libraries and application libraries. Go to the form. Today one analysis analysis will go. Yeah, in analysis analysis, this is the manually creation of the zone. And when how to use the substitution variable in Smart View? Here to use the smart substitution variable in Smart View. And current year three also ampersand current month three and click on refresh. Yeah, is change F five twenty two and July. Here the display the F I twenty two and July I give I give the substitution variable F I twenty two and July and coming to the P P T here to change the F I twenty two F I twenty one when an application creation I take the F I twenty two thirty so I give in the F I twenty two twenty one uh, to change I will change the substitution variable in uh, in in application go to the application and here. Go to the application and not the navigation. Here the variables part is there, and here the substitution variable. Substitution variable in Y3. I will change the Y3 F5 22 F5 23. Okay, and uh, also the current month July to Jan. Then save, then save, and after I give the In go to this Excel sheet, and I here, and I go to, I give the substitution variable. When I give the substitution variable, that can be changed to to so F I twenty three to Jan. Okay, current year three. Current month. Three. Then after refresh, yeah, it can be changed. F I twenty three and Jan. Here the substitution variable I give the F I twenty three and period is Jan. It can be save. Uh, it can be Jan. Uh, here the uh, how to use the substitution variable in this process. This is the uh, smart view how to use the substitution variable and go to the. Go to the next slide. Eight in summary. In this topic, conclude. Show the show as using a substitution variable. Following here, the substitution variable can be used. Uh, uh, where can be used here? The data forms, RTP, and business rules and smart view. Uh, that, uh, thank you. That's it, Davuli.